How you doing, everybody? Welcome to the Cast Iron Kitchen. My name is Steve Ross. I'm the Cast Iron Chef. Today we're going to be preparing a beautiful meal. It's called Pepper Steak Over Rice. It's on our regular menu here at the restaurant. Um, we got all our vegetables, everything all set, ready to roll. So have a seat, grab a beer, and enjoy. Okay, first, of course you're going to need a cast iron skillet. You want to make sure it gets piped on high. I don't know if you can see the smoke coming off it. Make sure you flame with that very high flame. You're going to take a little olive oil, put it in your pan. You want to get a nice smoky. Make sure it covers the entire pan. It's probably about uh, one ounce of oil. First thing you're going to do is you're going to get your beef. This is grade A Angus beef. It's been cubed. Just dump it right in there. That's the first thing you want to do. And that sizzle get a little flame. So while you're making the meat, you want to make sure it gets a nice browning on it. Distilling all the juices and make sure it stays moist and tender throughout the cooking process. Just get a spoon here. So stir it around. It's alright to flame up a little bit. The type of cook I am, I love to cook on high heat. Staying cooked fast, you just gotta move fast with it. So just that quick, I don't know if you can see it, you got a nice brown on your meat. So next thing, you want to add your seasoning. We got a combination of seasonings, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, chilies, salt, and just sprinkle your meat with it lightly. Just to get a nice seasoning on it. You want to stir that around. Quick dish, something that you can make at home is really fast. Next thing, go to the glaze. One of our deglazers are teriyaki. So we'll just get out a little dash. And we're also going to deglaze with wu sauce, Worcestershire sauce. This adds a very nice flavor. Cajun style here, we use beer. That's going to be the last one. Put that around. Okay, so now we let all our, our woo sauce, our teriyaki, excuse me, our soy sauce, our woo sauce, and our beer cook down. It made almost like a thick, syrupy consistency, and that's what you want. So now you're going to add your beef stock. You can make it yourself using beef bones. Or you can just go to your nearest grocery store and buy the, buy the powder version. Sprinkle some in and you hit that with a little water. And just let that dissolve. Doesn't take long. Let it come up to a boil. Stir it in very nice. Now, while that's cooking, what we're going to do is, we're going to go we're going to cut our vegetables. We need fresh garlic, we need green bell pepper, and we need onion. Usually you can use green, red, yellow bell pepper if you're making big batches for this, this single serving one bell pepper will suffice so come right over here I'm going to show you how to cut these vegetables so now we're going to get our vegetables ready we're going to cut some people especially in restaurants they use color coded boards here in our kitchen green means vegetables a red means meat and blue means fish so that way we know that when we put an onion on a green board no meat or anything has touched this board besides that it's a great way to stay safe and a great way to stay sanitized okay first you want to Grab your knife. Some people use this angle. Some people come as far up as this. Me personally, I just like to put it finger right here, thumb right here, so that way I got more control over the knife that way. So now, you're just going to go straight down. Make sure your knife is bl your blade is sharp. Put your finger out. Protect your other fingers. Go straight down. Come up. If your knife is sharp, it's going to be very, very easy. Boom. That's a wrap. Then... Push that to the side. You want to bring your bell pepper over. Just want to take a piece off. Like that. And then take another piece off. Save this because you can use it for other stuff. So all you're going to do is come right over. Same same move. Get your rocking motion going. Just go right through the pepper. Add that to the rest. Same thing. This side. Nice rocking motion. Boom. That's a wrap. Take your couple of cloves of garlic, 
about four close take your knife just bang them crush them all up then just keep just go right through they don't have to be too small but you know if they're too big fresh garlic burns when people bite it just put it off to the side Grab our pot right here. Get rid of that water. Just put all the veggies right in. Okay, so we'll add our vegetables back to the pot. That in there. Make sure you get all that garlic in there. That's very important. Good. Stir that all in. This is very, very quick. Now, as that's going, you want to get a little butter. And this is to melt the sauce. This gives the sauce a very nice, shiny finish. Looks really good. Swirl it in there. Let that cook. Now we're going to take a top. Just to throw on top for a couple seconds. Because you want to let the vegetables steam a little bit. The reason you want to let the veggies steam is going to create more water, which is going to help your sauce. But we still have to thicken the sauce a little bit more. So that's steaming right now. And again, you come down here any day. We have this dish every day here at Cast Iron Soul. You can ask for myself, the Cast Iron Chef, or my beautiful wife, Shayla. And we'll prepare this dish for you. It's usually prepared on the line, but if you would like it made to order, we do that as well. Okay, so our sauce is about ready. Put that in a little more. You see how that's coming along? So the vegetables are getting nice and soft. This is going to be blazing right here. So now, we, we want to add what's called a roux. This is very popular in Southern style cooking, uh, New Orleans style. Any type of style that use gravies, French, whoever it is, they use a roux. A roux is just a combination of equal parts butter and flour. Or you can use oil. You, you can really use your fat of choice. We prefer to use butter. But then when you crink, crinkle it up like this, crumble it up, excuse me, and just spread it throughout your sauce. This is going to make it really nice and thick. At this point, you can continue to use your spoon to get your sauce to whisk it in. Me personally, I prefer to use a whisk. I'm sorry, I prefer to use a whisk. Okay, now we're going to plate. We just get a nice plate of nice white rice. That's all you need. Nothing more. This is great with all the flavor, all the season is in there. So you want to take your finished product, get your steak, get your spoon, add a little bit more seasoning on it. Stir that in really nice to see that. That was nice and that was quick too. It wasn't long at all. I'm just going to take it, come over to our nice bed of rice. Put the steak right to sleep, right on top. Beautiful. After which, we're going to add a little bit of our fresh cut parsley right on top. And since it is cut of steak, we're going to hit a little hot sauce. And this is what our finished pepper steak should look like. Beautiful, nice, thick, saucy, just ready to be eaten. This is delicious. Beautiful. Make sure you come down for it. I got tons of hot sauce if you want.
Okay, everybody, I want to thank you for coming down to the Cast Iron Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, this is the first in a video series that we will be producing. I'm sure some will include my beautiful wife, Shayla, as well as myself. We're going to be making delicious meals, uh, showing you how to do it, the step-by-step uh, step step preparation. So please check back. We're going to have the recipes online in case you want to try it yourself at home. Or if you don't feel like cooking, come on down. We'll do it for you. Um, be sure to check for We're going to be doing deli discounts, specials. So just uh, keep checking the site, okay? Well, and we, will, we also will have gift cards coming soon. So just keep checking the site. We'll let you know everything that's going on. We're also going to be doing a newsletter. we got a lot of stuff going on. This is just the beginning. Uh, we want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you.